Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a ramp hold program with your Bartlett 3-key controller. So the first thing we need to do is press the stop start button. Okay, and so right now we see CFR, which stands for cone fire, so we need to get to the ramp hold program. So we press the up arrow, and we see RHD standing for ramp hold, so that's what we want, so we'll go ahead and press the stop start button. Now it's just asking you if you'd like to set a delay time before the firing begins. Um, you can use the up and down arrow to change it. It goes by hours and minutes. I'm just going to leave this at zero right now. Uh, so then when you're done there, you go ahead and press the stop start button. And now it's asking you for your user, which user profile you'd like to use. And there's four user profiles, so you can use the up arrow to flip through them. And then if you press the down arrow, it will review and show you all the different segments for that particular user profile, and then it will be ready to fire. So I'm going to use the up arrow, and I'm now that I'm at user 1, I'm going to go ahead and press the stop start button and select that one. Now it's asking you the number of segments. You can go all the way up to 8, or you can go, you know, use the up and down arrow to change that. I'm going to just go to 2 to just to simplify things for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and press the stop start button when I've got the number of segments I want. Now it's asking you for the ramp rate for that segment. So RA1, segment 1 ramp rate. We've got it at 400. So if you want to change it, you use the up or down arrow to make the change. And if you hold it down, it'll actually go faster that way for you. So, so let's say we want to get up to, four, you know, we're at 495, we'll go up to 500. Okay, so once you've got the ramp rate that you want, use the up and down arrows is fine. Then press the stop start button. Okay, now it's asking you what temperature you'd like to go to in the first segment. So right now we're at 1,000. Again, you can use the up or down arrows to hold down, or you can just press it each time, but it'll scroll through faster if you hold it down. So let's say we want to get up to 1200 degrees. So if you pause just a minute, it won't go quite so quickly, and then you can go up by a single degree. Okay, so then we've got 1200, so we're going to go ahead and press the stop start button. And now it's asking you for the hold time for that segment. Again, this is in hours and minutes. So if I want to do an hour long hold, We'll go, we'll hold up, and we overshot just a little bit there. But now if we hang on for just a second, press the down button, and now we're at an hour long hold. So go ahead and press the stop start button. Now it's got RA2, that's the ramp rate for segment number two. We're at 2000, and again, you can use the up and down arrows. And if you want to do a ramp rate of all nines, which is as fast as possible, just hold up until full will be displayed and that will do a ramp rate as fast as possible. So as I'm holding it down you can see it's the longer I hold it the faster it starts to count up for you. Now we're almost there. Okay so now we're at full which is a, the fastest possible ramp rate. So we're going to go ahead and press the stop start button. Now it's asking you for the temperature for segment number two. Again use the up and down arrows to change that and then press the stop start button. Now, right now we've got a hold time of two of six minutes for segment number two. So again, up and down arrows to change that. Press the stop start button. And now ready is displayed. Now if you do choose to do six to eight segments or an, an more than just two segments, it will go through each individual segment and let you change each parameter. So, but then once you've programmed each one, you'll come to ready. Now if you're ready to go ahead and fire the kiln, the kiln's ready. Go ahead and press the stop start button, and you should see the temperature display solidly. If it's flashing with idle, then, then the firing has not begun, but now you can tell that it's started because it's not alternating. So that's it for now, but remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!